You know, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9, as part of the Beatitudes, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall see God. During this peace talk, I'm standing out here today in front of, well, the castle on the preschool playground. You say, what does that have to do with blessed are the peacemakers? I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but it seems like that pride is a major issue for many people in our world. Everybody's got their own little castle or kingdom, uh, their own little entity that they're in charge of. And uh, when things don't go their way, conflict arises. People get upset. We live in a world where many things have been flipped upside down as far as social norms and protocol. Every person that you meet, every establishment that you go to, you constantly are having to figure out what is the new norm and what does this person expect of me and what do they do with this organization now. I just wanted to remind you that Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. You would serve the kingdom well, not your kingdom, his kingdom, the kingdom of Jesus Christ well, to be a peacemaker, to be one that maybe doesn't avoid conflict, but certainly one that seeks peace in all circumstances. It would help you at home, it would help you at church, it would help you in business, and yes, it would help you in life because it's truth, absolute truth from our Heavenly Father. Our Lord said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall see God.